We've reached the time of year where cold weather is settling in and a lot of us are hanging up our backpacks for the season because we don't really want to spend time camping and backpacking out in the cold. However, today I wanna to talk about some critical pieces of gear and ideas that could really make it possible for you to get out and enjoy backpacking and camping all year round. Now, one of the biggest concerns that I think people have when it comes to winter camping and backpacking and that actually deters people from even wanting to entertain the idea of going out into really cold temperatures is, can I stay warm? That's kind of like the elephant in the room and the question to ask. And so yeah, staying warm is very difficult. However, you can easily take your three season gear and adapt it to make a really smart four season system that is gonna keep you plenty warm and comfortable for sleeping uh, when you're out in those kinds of really cold temperatures. So what I've got here is an example of three season gear that I've taken and combined together to make a really robust four season cold weather uh, sleep system. On the outer layer here, I've got my 25 degree Zen Bivy light bed. This is a down top quilt that's attached to their sheet system that allows for everything to just stay contained on top of the sleeping pad. With the ability of a wide quilt like this, I can easily layer another three season bag inside of this to create a ton of loft and a lot of additional space for making it easy to get down into really cold temperatures. So what I've put on the inside of the light bed is my Western Mountaineering ultralight 20 degree rated. The combination of these two together at a 20 degree rated, 25 degree rating, this is easily gonna take me down below zero degrees Fahrenheit. And the ability to just know that I've taken stuff that I already own, put it into one system, and I'm gonna be super comfortable and warm, makes it a lot easier mentally for you to jump into cold weather settings to then have a good experience while you're out there. Then attached to the bottom of this, I've got my uh, Neo Air X-Therm Max from Thermarest as a sleeping pad, which is gonna be the best warmth to weight ratio pad, even though I personally don't like the comfort aspect of this pad. It is a 6.9 R value that's gonna create amazing warmth and the ability for you to go down to really, really cold temperatures. Now let's say you're somebody that is willing to go into maybe the low 20s, upper teens for temperatures and not go crazy in your temperature range. You can still take your three season system and adapt everything that you have to be able to enjoy those colder temperatures and survive in the winter settings. You can add some simple things that are gonna add warmth and comfort to that to make your experience more enjoyable. The first is with your sleeping pad, if you layer things and get a pretty inexpensive closed cell phone uh, sleeping pad like this Nemo Switchback, this will allow you to uh, create even more of a barrier underneath your sleeping pad that may have like a three or a four R value. And this is gonna add additional R value to your sleep system. So if I throw this, underneath like that, then I'm creating even more of a barrier between me and the ground, and that's gonna add additional R value, make things more comfortable for me, and be able to get down into those lower temperatures. The sleeping bag that I've got here is, as an example is the Nemo Riff 15 degree, and I wouldn't put this in the category of being able to get down to 15 degree temperatures, but with this on top of a good sleeping pad that creates that barrier. And then you can add one additional thing before you add additional layers to your body. And that additional item is going to be a sleeping bag liner. This is the C2 Summit a reactor liner, which you just throw on the inside of your bag and it's gonna allow you to, again, bring yourself down to those lower temperatures without again having to spend upwards of 300, 400, maybe even $500 on a zero degree or lower sleeping bag that going with this route, I don't have to spend a ton of money, but I can still enjoy 
lower temperatures and extend my hiking season a bit more than I would typically do otherwise. Now, primarily what we're talking about here are the big three gear items, which are pretty much the critical and essential things that you need to focus on the most when it comes to being comfortable and safe and being able to survive really cold temperatures for winter camping and backpacking. So looking at a good shelter system is going to make a huge, huge difference in your experience. And I've made the mistake of taking less than adequate tents when I go out on a winter trip. And so I have now invested into pretty much what is going to be my very specific winter backpacking and camping tent. And that is the Black Diamond Highlight uh, two-person tent. This is a full freestanding tent that is made from a polyester material. So in the event of rain, like we've got right now, this is not going to stretch quite nearly as much as a nylon tent would. And it's also single wall. So it's going to require a bit more ventilation to reduce the condensation aspect, but I want a full freestanding tent because it makes a big, big difference in the ease of setup for a tent. And what's cool about the highlight is this actually has an internal pole structure to it. The poles are set up on the inside of the tent, which allows for added strength and just the ease of being able to set this up on maybe soft snow and such without having to necessarily drive stakes into the snow or dead man anchors and that kind of thing, this is a really nice uh, setup. The other thing that you have to pay attention to with a tent is can the tent handle snow load? If I put weight on top of the tent, like look at how strong this thing is. Like I'm putting so much weight onto that and you cannot say that about other semi-freestanding or some uh, freestanding tents out there on the market. So being able to have something that will shed snow load and handle weather, heavy winds and all of that will make a huge difference in your ability to have a good experience when you go out on a winter and cold weather backpacking trip. My last thought on shelter systems and tents for cold weather backpacking is in the past I've done quite a bit of hot tent camping when I have headed out on my winter trips and for this year I'm not sure that I'm going to do any hot tent camping because the hot tent is honestly quite cumbersome and it's a lot of work. That doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it. I have had such a great time on those hot tent trips that I've done but they require so much work. And I don't think that a hot tent is necessarily the best option for everybody. I think using a system like this, really dialing in your sleep system and then being intentional about the amount of time that you spend out as well as where you choose to go, that will make a bigger difference in your experience than trying to rely on a wood burning stove inside of your tent making things comfortable for you. <laughs> There's some serious rain coming down right now, but the last thing that I want to talk about that is super critical to your enjoyment of being out and being able to survive cold weather uh, backpacking and camping is choosing the right backpack. What I've got here is the Waymark Gear light 50 liter uh, framed backpack and the reason that I'm talking about a backpack last is that becomes a huge part of your gear system because you need something potentially larger than probably what you carry for your summer trips to be able to haul all of this bigger, bulkier, additional gear that you're carrying with you to be able to enjoy yourself when you go out on these cold weather trips. So for me, I'm able to get away with a 50 liter pack uh, pretty good. It'll max out in a lot of ways for those cold weather trips and maybe a 60 liter would be more appropriate if I'm going into really, really cold temperatures. But consider that I want to make sure that the pack I'm using is going to facilitate the ability to carry all of this stuff as well as can I keep it dry? Is this got a water resistant aspect to it? Does the pack have the ability to keep everything dry or do I need to have a pack liner, dry bags and such that allow me to make sure that 
I do not get wet in any way, shape, or form because that would be a trip ending experience in my opinion if I do not take care of making sure that what I put in my pack stays dry. So make sure that you have a backpack that is large enough to haul and carry all of these bigger, bulkier things that you need to be able to have a good experience out on a cold weather backpacking and camping trip. Now to be totally transparent and honest with you guys, winter backpacking is something that I was very, very nervous about when I first started venturing into sleeping and just being out in cold temperatures and extending my hiking season into the winter season essentially. And it took time for me to mentally prepare myself to make sure that what I'm doing is not only smart, but that I can ensure that I have a good time when I go out there. It doesn't make sense to go out and spend time in the backcountry if you're like going to be miserable.